So this assignment is to do an investigation on Vasily Kandinsky. And um, you can see here is my finished piece um, and it's going to go in my journal. And what an investigation is, is really just looking at the artwork and the life of the artist and getting down a few uh, ideas of their artwork and their history. So let's see how I got to this point. So in class, you are going to be doing an investigation, which means that you're going to be doing some independent learning about Kandinsky and then showing your learning um, in your journal. So there is a PowerPoint for you to watch and look at his artwork. There is this really cool, very short video on how to, um, how he painted, like actually him painting, and then 10 interesting facts about um, Vasily Kandinsky. After you watch all those, you are going to include on one page his full name, his dates of life, five interesting facts about him, a recreation of one of his works, and just to fill the page. And so I'm going to show you how I did that and the process that I went through. But I really want you to know is that you do not have to do exactly the same thing as me. So what you're first going to do is decide what you want in your background. And I chose one specific painting of his. I want you to choose a different painting. So don't just copy me. Go look at some of his work. Find one of them that inspires you and paint that in the background. Uh, this painting here came from this one of his paintings called Circle in a Circle um, in 1920. 23. So you can see I use this as my inspiration. I didn't copy it exactly. I wasn't too worried about making it perfect. I just got some of the basic information down like the green stripe diagonally and the yellow stripe diagonally, the big black circle and some circles and lines in the middle. So going back to my um, recreation, you can see that that was my inspiration, but I didn't do it perfectly. I just got some information down. Then I put a title and I put his dates of life and then I added five facts and you're going to add facts anyway. You could have written on this. Um, you could do whatever you want. Um, I chose to put them in circles because that was one of the things that um, I noticed. I want you to do something different with your facts. Don't copy me. Okay. And then finally I used markers and regular pen. I used crayons and watercolor and I used glue to make this all happen. So you're going to watch me make this, but I really want it to be an inspiration for you to create something of your own.